Yeah, it's weird, and it's just on your arm. Is your belly fine? There's nothing on your belly or your back. Nothing itches, just your arm. Can you say ah? Ah. Uh, does it hurt in here? No, but it hurts up in here. Yeah. Yeah, we better ice that before we tape it. In the Sioux Falls School District, 24 nurses serve an average of 833 students apiece. Nearly 100 more students than is nationally recommended. Do you want to sit with a little warm pack on your tummy while you're having snack? Within this very specialized practice, school nurses seemingly do everything under the sun, and then some. Where does it hurt? Navigating staff questions and concerns, there. coordinating with counselors and teachers, regularly feeding some students, evaluating students or helping develop IEPs, administering vision and hearing screenings, and the list. I started out the morning with actually one of our students in labor. Goes on. A little boy that came in with a headache. They sent him to the neurologist. They did an MRI and uh, they diagnosed him with migraine headaches. And on. About a month ago we had a student that um, was down with a seizure for about a minute with no known history. And so that can be um, really scary for staff and, and trying to get that um, figured out and this the student actually had a language barrier, so that made that a lot more difficult with getting a hold of the mom. This chart, for example, is no exaggeration, and in fact, might be out of date. I do get questions all the time, sometimes more than questions. Um, was it last year or the beginning of this year? It must have been last year. Within two weeks, I sent two um, to the emergency room, and both of them ended up having heart procedures done. Um, so sometimes it can be something simple, you know, about themselves or their children and then sometimes they present with things that are a lot more difficult and we refer them on and um, thank goodness everything turned out okay. Almost nothing about a school nurse's day is standard. They might have some regular visitors. Sometimes we have students that just need to come see us and have some time, some downtime, and, um, and we like to call those, you know, I like to call them my daily vitamins. And so if they need to come and take a break, then we like to give them that opportunity. But yet um, we are here to assess those needs. Um, maybe they need to talk to the counselor, or maybe they just need to have their time and go back to class. Um, there's a lot of research out there that with having school nurses in your building, um, students stay in school and the percentage is higher and they get back to class quicker. I always figure that somewhere along the line, they need that contact. They need that daily contact with someone. I uh, have a lot of little boys that come occasionally that, uh, um, that they are living with their dads and their moms. They're out of the picture for some reason or other. And you know, I think they just need somebody that has the motherly contact with them that listens, that cares, you know. And there are some things that must happen every day. Oh, good. Very good. Okay, and then we'll give you your snack. But beyond that... Well, kind of blurry, isn't it? Well, there's so much more. When they come in for a stomach ache, usually if you dig a little deeper, it's not a stomach ache, and there's a lot of other things going on, and a lot of times the kids just need somebody to talk to, and oftentimes it's the nurse who um, runs into a lot of things first um, and finds out a lot of things and can help make a difference in that person's life. So you never know what the day is going to bring. Um, there's always excitement and never are two days the same. And we did our flu shots here at school for the students and so we gave um, over 100 flu shots. I have a student that arrives about 20, between 20 till to a quarter till that needs a nurse on campus while she is here. And she has um, an interesting syndrome where she had a stroke and surgery that was not terribly successful and she's developed a seizure disorder and so she she has the potential to go into status which is a continuous seizure or she can have another stroke and so they the doctor has warranted that someone be on campus just remember to keep it nice and clean. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that better? You're having a better day today, aren't you? Are you happier today? Are you happier today? Yeah. You're back to smiling now, aren't you? Yeah. You're back to smiling. You feel better. You feel better. Tomorrow is All right, buddy. Hi. We are having peaches today, huh? Thank you. We're going to put that on your tummy, okay? 
There you I'll go. Be home. I'll be, I'll be home. There you go. You can just hold it right there. Okay? See how he eats. And that may be telltale. Uh huh. Okay. You don't look too bad. You don't have a fever. Did you want to lay down a little bit? Okay, come on in here. A little while ago would be a good example how um, of a stomach ache turned something else. He complained of his stomach hurting, but you just have to ask a couple questions and you find out that he's not eating breakfast or lunch. He doesn't eat lunch at school because he can't afford the f food here and he doesn't qualify for any assistance. So um, that's just an example of how something that seems so little like a stomach ache turns into a much um, bigger problem. Does that feel a little better? Okay. And then we'll put that around there. And then we'll just, maybe we'll just put one on because that other one got kind of icky. There we go. And here, I'll just take this end off. And then we'll put this one on so it doesn't flap around on you. Okay? That feel better? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad you came back. 7.6? You I mean want? Seven. Um, yeah, let's do seven. Okay. Excellent. Good. Okay, good. And then you're going to eat about 28 carbs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. We'll have a good lunch. Thank you. Are you itchy? You are? What's your name? Maria. What is it? Maria. Maria. Okay. All right. Well, let's just look and see what we have here. I went into a fourth grade classroom and talked about um, some hygiene issues that can start early at that age. Um, we also did a germ costume for um, the kindergartners out there at Renberg and they um, really enjoy that. Um, talk about germs and good hand washing. Um, I've also done, uh, have done some self-breast checks, kind of a um, health awareness for some middle school students here. Um, we have a program that we're trying to get going with the girls. So, yes, we get into the classroom as well. This is Julie Hansen, the nurse at Terry Redland. And um, Zayden was here this morning for our dental screening. And they identified him as having immediate needs for dental care. Uh, do, you, do you have a dentist that you usually use? Um, you know, when I started, and it's almost been, let's see, 13 years and I've always been at Roosevelt and when I first started you know I thought oh maybe I'll start at the high school but maybe go to the elementary school and once I started in high school I fell in love with it. Um, I feel like you can really make a difference in kids lives. Occasionally we have nursing students from Augustana or uh, the LPM program or different places that come and shadow us for a day or a half a day and I think they are very surprised at all the different things we do. I think they think that we're just to, uh, you know, put on some band-aids and assess injuries and be here for that kind of thing. When in fact, we do, for every time a child is referred for uh, special education, we have contact with the family some, of some sort. I really believe that until somebody sees what we do all day, they have no idea. I mean, I think even staff sometimes that have come down here for whatever reason, you know, after they had to wait, whatever, 10 minutes to get through all the kids that were down here, you know, and sometimes they'll be like, I never knew you dealt with all that stuff. So I think um, it's eye-opening to a lot of people when they see actually um, what, what goes on in the nurse's office. 92. Okay. So whatever you're experiencing isn't your blood sugar, okay? It's probably has to do with your cold and your ears. Let me look at that again. Pull that down, yeah. Yeah, see your other tooth is just there ready to come in. Did you know that? Uh-uh. It is. Would you like to get some water and rinse your mouth out? I, I already did. Did you? Well, I mean, do you want to rinse and spit? In the bathroom? Sure. sure. And then I think you got maybe a little blood on your face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you better get that cleaned up. Okay, let's go in here. Because the more you itch, the worse it's going to get. Okay? If you keep itching it, it'll get worse. So you put the lotion on your arms, right? Yeah. 
Did you put it anywhere else? No. Just your arms? Yeah. Okay. That's probably the culprit then. Just kind of keep this on where it really itches. Okay. Okay? You can just sit in here and I'll check on you in a little bit, okay? okay. All right. I love being a school nurse. It, you have variety every day. Um, you feel appreciated and, and needed and I, I really feel like I can be helpful and um, my day is complete if I get a student to the dental van that hasn't seen a dentist for two years. Um, if I have a student that needs glasses and we get glasses for them. If I have a student that has literally had a student that had a hole inside the middle of his tooth, he, I, you know, was a strong advocate that you need to take him to the dentist and he got in and he got it fixed. That makes my day. And so, um, School nursing, like I said before, is a very unique um, specialty nurse nursing area, and um, you do it for the kids. Everything we do is for the kids, um, and it's always just being an advocate for them and being there for them.